welcome to the Divine Grand Hotel. Um, oh my god, hi! <laughs> Fancy seeing you here. Um, yeah, it's been a while. I assume you booked your room online? Yeah, um, yeah, no, I know the name. <laughs> um, yep, okay, there we are. Um, it's all ready for you to check in early. Um, so how long are you in town for? Only the night. Okay. Yeah, no, um, I manage this location, actually. <laughs> yeah. It's been too long. It's nice to see you again. Um, I can go ahead and show you to your room if you'd like. That way we can talk. Yeah. So, where are you in town? I see. And... You only need to be here one night for that? That makes more sense. You're just stopping in. On your way? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I hope that I can make the single night you have here good. <laughs> well, uh, here we are. Um, do you mind if I come in for a second? I just, I have some things I never got to say way back when that I'd really love to get off my chest if you wouldn't mind. If you do, I can leave. Um, I get that you did not sign up for an old bestie reunion, but <laughs> I do have some things I want to talk about if you're okay to listen. You are. Awesome. Um, so here's your room. <laughs> here's your card. Um, mind if I sit on the bed? Yeah. So, how long has it been exactly? Five years. Yeah, five years. It's a long time. Listen, the night that everything happened. I just, I just want to apologize about it. I know that you and you and your girlfriend were, you were serious and I shouldn't have said anything about them, especially in front of a crowd of people. I get that I overstepped a boundary, and I know it's way too little too late, and I... You're not with them anymore? Oh, thank God. I mean, sorry, I just, um, they didn't seem like they were good for you. I know it's not my place. Um, I just... Are you happier now? You are. Good. How long have you guys been broken up? A month. Oh, wow. Um, you were dating for five years. That must have been excruciating. Not all of it, of course, but... Throwing away five years, seemingly, to someone who it didn't end up working out with. I'm sorry. Um, so you're single. So am I. <laughs> you know me. Always career focused. <laughs> Listen, at 
your birthday party when everything happened. It wasn't just the fact you started dating her. It was her mixed with things she had told me behind the scenes mixed with the fact that I felt like I had such little control over anything else in my life at that point. I I had just found out that my parents were getting a divorce. And my grandma died the night before. So, needless to say, my parents probably should have waited a little bit to share, share that news um, after, you know, a loved one dying. But they just couldn't wait to get the hell away from each other. I had no right to ruin your birthday, though, over it. I should have just been honest with you and told you I'm going through a lot. But God, when I heard her grating voice whispering in your ear, telling you things, flirting with you. Did you ever hear about what happened between her and I? That night? Of course you didn't. I should have told you before she had the chance to finagle her way out of that, too. She said I... I was nothing to you. That I wasn't really your best friend. That she was your best friend. And... All this to say, I know that I've been talking for a long time and you probably just want me to shut up and say you could go to sleep and be in your hotel room and everything, but, but I need to say this. I think I was in love with you, which made the whole situation worse. I get it. You don't see me that way and that's fine. You never will see me that way again least. Not after what I did. But I will say this at least. I care about you a lot. You're one of my favorite people. At least you were. It's been a long time. But I like to think that it could have been a long time for healing. I want to get to know this version of you. And I want you to get to know this version of me. We've changed a lot in the past five years. To be honest, when you walked in and I noticed it was you, I didn't know whether or not you'd have a wedding ring on. That's how much time has passed. I remember our college days when we would hang out for hours and hours pretending like we were studying when, let's be honest, we'd study for maybe a total of 30 minutes out of the five hour quote unquote study sessions we'd have. But I didn't care. Because it was you sitting next to me with a messy bun and a pencil behind your ear. Glasses falling off your nose. Eyes looking into my soul. lips so soft and pink can I kiss you please I should go <laughs> sorry um I should go why should I wait? I obviously overstepped a boundary. I... You kissed me. Well, maybe I don't have to head out right now. Thank you guys so much for listening to this audio. And before you leave, before you skedaddle on out of here, let me give a quick shout out to my lovely patrons. Shout out to Mason, Relax Raven, Sam Wentworth, A Good Hunter, Alyssa, RMT, Ashley, 
Gloria Lavellius, Chelsea Walters, Emma Wilson, I'm Going to Toyotathon, Mac of All Trades, May, Maya Washington, Oshin ZW, SCR117, The Lovely Eve, The Random Axolotl, The Kale Gal, and Zoe. Thank you guys so much for the support. It really means the world to me. And if you would like to check out my Patreon, check out the link in the description down below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.